Hey everybody, Jonathan Field here. Welcome to the James Creek Ranch just out of Merritt, British Columbia. It's late in the fall, we had a little bit of snow yesterday and we're glad to have a bit of time to share this with you today. I've got my old boy Quincy with me, pulled him out of retirement to, uh, to have a little play with him today. I wanted to share with you a bit, you know, what we wrote about in the article and um, what we talked about with, you know, one of the successes, or one of the ways I had success with that pole with Quincy. He's the only horse I've ever done that with and uh, kind of wanted to show you today some steps that you can do to just have some fun uh, and not necessarily get a big long pole and risk hurting yourself with it. But Quincy was a horse that I did this with many years ago uh, just because it was a way of kind of connecting with him. When I first got him, he was very, very sensitive. He was uh, uh, a really challenging horse. He'd get very, very scared and then he would start to rear. He'd want to bolt. If you didn't let him bolt or didn't let him go forward, of course, he developed this habit. Uh, much before I got him where he could actually rear or he would flip over. So he, uh, he's now my kid's horse. They ride him and he's overcome all of that. And one of the things that we did was that poll. Uh, an old uh, friend of mine uh, and a, a couple of different people from Spain helped me kind of get the idea of this and practice it. But by no means am I trying to represent the tradition that they, they do with this in Spain. But just it was just a way of helping my horse and I'll give you some ideas today how you can kind of have some fun. Hope you enjoy. Good boy, Quince. Nothing better than old partnerships like having a partner like Quincy. All those years traveling around the countryside, working on this ranch, moving cattle, doing demonstrations, and uh, playing with him. And uh, today I want to show you just something you can do kind of for fun. And it's a way to uh, almost simulate uh, what we do with the pole. But uh, I just took two sticks, horseman sticks, four foot like that, put a string on them and tied them together like that. And uh, what we'll do is I'm just gonna have a little play and see if I can't show you some fun things you can do. And, and one of the challenges that I like to uh, kind of play with a little bit. So now taking the one stick, dropping it on the ground, holding the end, you can play with what can I get done while keeping that, that end, the far end away from me, dead still. Can I walk around it? Could I trot around it? Go right, go left. It's been a while, eh, Quince? Turn to the inside, turn to the outside. Try to keep it still. All while keeping my focus on that end to keep it all very still. Nice tight little turn here at the canter. Lope along. Here's one kind of fun little part there. See if we can come up with some more. We haven't done this for a while, hey bud? How about this one? There. <laughs> okay. So here's kind of a fun one. See if I can drag the stick, keep an eye on it, and try not to have it touch a cone, and try to go around that cone, come out wide, come around a little bit, looking at the cone, almost trying to stay sideways to it, around this cone. Can I switch? Oh, getting close to the cone. Come over this way. Drag it here. Can I come around? And switch around. Try to have a sense of purpose. A little bit of urgency. Come around this way. Switch. Switch it over. Come out real wide. Pretend like it's chasing me here. Pretty slippery out here with all these cow pies. Just come up with a little pattern that you can play with. A little bit of focus, a little bit of fun. It's just the infinite number of things you can do you get your imagination going. Come tight around this.
Oh, it brings back memories, Quincy. When he was in shape, we could do that nearly at the gallop. Better not ask of it today. <laughs> so there's lots of fun things you can do. Oh, it's very slippery out here. Let's see if I can grab this. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Use your imagination. Thanks for enjoying the article. Really, really honored to be included in Western Horseman magazine. And thanks for sharing with my horse here all what we've been doing. Have a great day.